Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the Blurlock game. So in the last episode we did the shooting and some bug fixes. So in this episode we kind of want to... Well, get starting with some stuff. So what we did is we basically... Yeah, got the modifications table set up. And we coded all this in here with, with the ego with all the different traits. And we basically just coded all the functionality behind this. So in this episode, we kind of want to, well, get everything working. So I'll be having the menu UI in my Discord server. So make sure you get this. And yeah, we will be using this. Uh, you can also design your own one. So I'm just going to show you. So we have a menu that looks like this. We have a main frame, customization frame, setting frame. The main frame has a selection frame and then it has like the customization, the settings and then image label. And here it just takes labels. Customization frame, we have a chances frame. And we have a ego frame, we have a trait frame and the weapon frame and then each of those is a chances. Then the ego or the trait or the weapon and then box and then ego trait weapon title. And any chances is a local script, but yeah, you of course get that with it. So yeah, you should have it. And then in the settings frame, there's also a settings handler and the holder and exit description and title. Okay, so I think we also need to get a bit of stuff set up for this. So yeah, let's get right into it. So we want to create a config pretty much. So let's create a module script and let's rename this module script to config. And then let's get the config here, config here. Then I'm going to do config.eagleprice. Then I'm going to set this to 5000. You can, of course, use your own price as the weapon price. Here's equal to 3500. And then config.trade price. And you make it like 2000. The config.prefix. Prefix or like price prefix. And then let me get my yen symbol here. And then we have config weapon key bind. We do in dot key bind or key code dot q. And that's pretty much it. And now let's get coding with the main menu. Let's get a new script in the local side of joy. So in this main menu. And let's get right, right into it. So what we want to do is we first of all want to get some stuff set up. So we're going to get the player, which is player's local player, of course. Then we want to get the player GI. Which is of course the player GI. Then the local menu e GUI is play GUI and then dot menu. Then local mainframe is menu GUI dot mainframe and local selection frame is equal to mainframe dot selection frame. Then local tween time, because we will have tweens. And we just make the settings for right now. So it's 50. And yeah, then we will have some variables. Do 
2.new and let's get one comma zero for selection frame dot position dot y dot scale and then selection frame dot position dot y dot offset and then selection frame dot position is equal to the off screen position and then let's get a function to open the menu up and then we want to do menu gi dot enabled so equal to true so make sure your menu gi is indeed disabled should look like this and we want to set it to true and then local tween in so equal to tween service call create and then also create this for the selection frame with the tween info dot new with the tween time and then the position here to the original position then we can also play this need one more bracket here and then local f or v tween in is equal to tween service call create workspace that current camera tween info dot new with the tween time and then the field of view will be equal to the zoom FOB. and we can also play this then we set is open to true then put a close menu we can just copy this put a close here and then just name those both to out and out and then what we want to do is we want to cut this out and get the tween out and then get this to the off screen position let's get this to the original FOV and then what we can do is we play FOV tween and then what we can do is we want to do tween out dot Completed connect function. Then we want to set the menu GI to false. Yeah, in this case, we also need to do tween out play here so we can get the completed statement here. And then we set the menu GI to false and we set the is open also to false. And then we get a local function for toggling the menu. And this is, yeah, it doesn't need anything. And then we want to do if is open, then close menu, and menu dot parents with child. Then, yeah, we would do like some on screen stuff. But yeah, we will do this. Oh, actually, we can just copy this over too. So this will also be in my Discord server. Make sure you get this set up. And we just save it. It just has like some scripts inside and stuff. I think it will work. I think it doesn't need yet. It's also explained. If you want to change something, just go th through these scripts and just yeah, see for yourself. Yeah, the stamina handler you can disable. Don't have done stamina yet, so yeah. We can continue on here, the main menu, and then we will set the on screen dot enable to true, and then else to close menu. I think I kind of misspelled this. Menu, 
Okay, then we have a kind of bigger function. Then we have the local function on button click. And the really button. And then we do local button name button dot name. And then we want to do local target frame. So we basically just want to get the target. So this will find the corresponding frame, customization frame, so we get the button name and the frame. And then what we want to do is if the target frame, then we want to pretty much warn the target frame of name. We also want to get an end here. And then what we want to do is we want to make the target frame visible, of course. And then we want to create a new tween out for the selection thing. And then we want to set the target frame position. And lastly, you want to tween in the target frame. And then when this is completed, we want to then set the selection frame visible false. And yeah, then we have an exit button. And if there is an exit button, then yeah, if X button and it's the text button, then if we click it, we just want to make it out here. So we want to can get this out here. Make sure you get everything set up. And then we also want to get the tween in from the selection. Let's make sure you get this too. And then when the exit tween is completed, Make a function to it. It's target frame dot visible false and the selection frame dot visible into the true. So that what it, that was it for the long function. Now let's get to setting up the button. Very button if button is a text button then button dot mouse button one click call connect function and then we want to do on button click and we set to we pass through the button and yeah then we want to get the configuration module which we just created and then we want to get some titles this is kind of like a big chunk of code Make sure you get this. So we got the ego title, which is the customization frame, and the ego frame, and the ego, and then we set the text. Just make sure you copy this. It's kind of like for the different colors. So make sure you get this right. And then lastly, you want to the user input service dot input began connect function we connect the input and the gpe if not gpe then if input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code dot m or any other key code then we want to toggle the menu and now let's get playing we now press m see that pretty much nothing happens because we are waiting for ego in our ego handler. So let's see why this is happening. Okay, because we are missing just a few things in the subscript service, because we don't have the data manager yet. But we will do this in the next episode, so I can quickly show you what it will look like in the next episode, sorry. If this updates here. Okay, well, anyways, 
this pretty much it for the episode. In the next episode, we will fix all the bugs and get the data stores and stuff. And then it will work perfectly. Uh, thank you all for watching. Until the next video. Peace.